do you know this when i heard this one i was thinking about socrates socrates kept on telling the only one thing i know is i don't know so people held on to that and kept on telling that i don't know even my family i don't know even my gurus i do not know even my religion that is shocked and when the people went for an interview they were asked please sing a song and they said no i didn't know i am not a singer but please sing a song of your own mother tongue they said i don't know and the top most companies refused to take the students they did not get a job it on when we asked the companies the companies was telling if they cannot sing their own mother tongue song they have not conscious they got disconnected and what is the guarantee when they come to our company they get disconnected my country my company will get lost those who are deeply in touch sometimes they they take people who say i am god fearing yes john michael christian born on 23rd october 1942 in chicago in the united states of america died on 4th november 2008 Los Angeles in California was an American author and filmmaker. His books have sold over 200 million copies worldwide and over a dozen have been adapted into films. John Michael Crichton said, "If you don't know history, then you don't know anything. You are a leaf that doesn't know it is part of a tree. Yes, to be conscious and to be observant, listening." If you know these three stages you are a human being yes for all the education just only one technique is needed that you have to listen and all the international schools have taught the children not to listen but to ask questions back to talk back before your parents would complete they'll talk back they will talk and question and question and question as long as they can blabber gibberish they have got them into their trap they made them a slave you are a slave come out of that gibberish talks john michael crichton said if you don't know history then you don't know anything he say just says history means if you do not know your relatives you do not know your first cousin second cousin third fourth fifth you do not know your father your grandfather your great grandfather your godfather if you do not know the lineage then you cannot know anything because anything which comes to you leaks and then you find out for everything whatever i make it is going off i make friends they go off. i make money it goes off it is leaking not only really leaking in the mind and the body and for the smallest cold you rush up to the doctor they say if you have cold if you go to the hospital the cold will go off in a week's time but if you don't go to those it goes off in 7 days the patients are counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you build up your resistance power in that resistance power you will observe you look into your relatives eyes into your lovers eyes you look deep into your food to understand whether it's protein or carbohydrates you if you don't know history then you don't know you are a leaf that you are a leaf you are a leaf that doesn't know it is part of it you are a leaf that doesn't know you are a part of your family part of a joint part of your family tree disturb destroyed finish the family which never sits together never grows family sits together eats together prays and grows sitting bumped to bum not in the dining table please try to understand no no dining table is only for some meeting only for strangers for you in the house be possible yes maybe the rich have made different different rooms never mind 
but when we are sleeping at least once a week sleep together all together father mother brother sister grandfather everybody hug and sleep together in one hall sit and eat in one plate all together take bath you have known history you have known that you the tree face part of the tree you have understood that everything coming out from the smell from the sweat from the mouth from the nose from the words and the songs everything is just you and it's powerful everything is a thousand man army you do not have to go search to find out your strength the strength just flows into you you become one you are a tree leaf that doesn't know it is part of a tree if you don't know history means if you do not know your samskruti of getting up early morning and looking at the sunlight early morning getting up and cleaning up the cleaning up the house not with the with the, with the machines but with the broom and taking the cloth and wiping down on the floor you got the first chimney she makes a the body keeps sweating early morning when there is severe cold also you can find you are sweating and the song comes of automatically of its own that becomes a bhajan that becomes the prayer and in the prayer the light a kattal in the belagina tamas so ma jyotir gami the light lights of its own and of course you can light the lamp or and you can see the viral things are all moved out yes and when you open the windows and the doors the first rays of sunlight falls in say you open up you switch open your whole body to the surya nam you understood the sun you are a part of the sun when you become part of the sun you convert the sun solar into solar energy into planets to make sure in the night time it just lightens up like diwali and then you see before the rain comes yeah you were waiting for the rain to take a beautiful bath not going to the swimming pool but this is your swimming pool this is your waterfalls and you made a beautiful pond to jump inside and jump and dance and you did the ground water recharge convert it rain water every one drop is money you convert to recycle you knew you are a part of the tree if you knew that you are a part of you are a mahar you are a samuji you are a guruji you are close to god you are god you are the truth you are the intelligent you are a saint you are albert einstein john michael kitchen said if you don't know history then you don't know anything you are a leaf that doesn't know it is part of a tree 